Welcome back, everybody, to the final part of the 20 Steps in the Back of Back Mindsetting Program. Um, this week, we're going to talk about a subject that, um, as an accountant, I'm probably the least qualified person in the world to discuss, which is the importance of work-life balance. And um, I, I suspect many of my clients will probably um, admit to being... Um, not very well qualified to talk about that as well. But um, I thought I'd start this week by just sort of throwing this question at Roger really, because um, Roger is um, setting up a new business at the moment and, um, and, I, and I know he's working incredibly hard on it. So um, I thought, first of all, I'll just ask how it's all going, Roger. But yeah. also, you know. Well, it's, a, it's a really interesting thing to talk about because I think I can speak on behalf of myself and Steve. We've had a pretty good work-life balance since we retired in athletics. We've, you know, because of what we do and who we are, we, 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 we you know, we're not having to work all the time. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of, a, it's a different, it's a different process. We work hard, but it's not completely consuming. Uh, I've had my brand, Roger Black Fitness, that's the logo, has been under license for 15 years with Argos. And a year ago, I knew that was coming to an end. So I had a choice. Do I let it go or do I, I own the brand or do I go direct to consumer? And that's the decision I've made. And we launched two weeks ago. Fantastic site, projectfitness.com. Uh, if you want a bike or treadmill, I'm in place. Um, everything's in place. But of course, like any startup, because we are in effect, it does, it's, you know, it, it, we've got to get awareness. We've got to get people to the site. And I'm now dealing with customers, with warehouses, with freight agents, with, with factories in China and all that stuff. And I'm busy and I'm getting bombarded every day. So I'm becoming that person who's really, really busy, as it should be at this stage in the business. But um, so there is a challenge to work-life balance for me that I've never felt before. Um, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm relishing in it. But I'm having to manage my family life because... They've always had a lot of me and I've always been available. I still think I have a pretty good work-life balance compared to most people. So I think it's all relative, but it's an interesting challenge. And when we did the mindsetting piece, I knew this was coming up, but now I'm really living it. And so I've actually revisited the mindset videos. And because of this new project, along with the other stuff that Steve and I do, um, I'm able to re listen to these videos and apply this startup situation to each of the videos. And I'm finding them really useful. I'm hearing things that I've said, and particularly Steve said, that resonate with me more than when I actually did it. And I think that's really important with the mindsetting program. It's not a fixed thing. Revisit the videos and apply it to your life right now. But work-life balance at the moment is a challenge. And I have to be very aware of it. And I have to be very careful because my family are very used to me being around. So I have to manage my time much better. I'm doing quite a lot of work late at night when everyone's asleep, but that's okay. Um, fortunately, I'm passionate about what I'm doing, but it's more of a challenge now than it's ever been before. Mm. Yeah, and it's interesting, Rod, because we've, you know, we we have different um, kind of different businesses, I suppose, different industries. So we have a property business which I tend to run. We have the corporate um, business and the mindsetting program spun out of that. But I think the the, the point here is, you know, that the maximum isn't necessarily the optimum. Um, we, we, we had to obey that in sport because if you train too much, you don't. Yeah, know. true. You know, so you, it, finding what the optimum is is actually quite tough. And I suppose that, you know, in the work life balance scheme of things, um, it, it, it's a tough one because how do you really know? And I, I suppose the point is that it, it, it comes back to that what is success for us personally, where we started the whole of the mindsetting program. Um, you know, in the first video, we asked that question. Because when we we got to know when we get there, it's so easy to be a busy fool, you know. It's so easy to fill your day up, right, and do stuff. And but is it working? Is it really returning? And and it, and it's where property has been fantastic for us, Rog, isn't it? Because yeah, we we love the passive nature of being property investors. Um, that's that's the goal is to get that passive income to a level that supports us. And and I suppose the point, and I think you might have said this to me in the past, Malcolm. If you if you can't walk away from your business, yeah, as a, as a, you haven't got a business. You've got a job, and 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 the, <laughs> that's part of the. I know that's only part of the equation, um, but the balance of that coming back to the point as sports people, we we had to obey it, and and, yeah. and I think we both did, Rog. You know, and, and yeah, you know, that, we 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 had times when maybe we didn't, but we on the yeah. whole we did. But I, th I think the other thing, Steve and Malcolm, which I think I, I take comfort from is I'm a great believer in there are chapters in life. And I think there are chapters in your business journey. And I know that as a startup, in effect, I'm in the middle of a very busy chapter. 
and I'll never have this time again because it's startup time. So you're, you're incredibly busy. You know, you've got to deal with stuff. You've got to get it set up. I think the challenge, Malcolm, and maybe this is something that you're alluding to with yourself is, you know, that can go on for a very, very long time. You know, you just move on to the next chapter and you're just as busy. And then the next chapter and you're just as busy and you never actually feel on top of it and you feel that your work-life balance never comes. And it's something that you put off, put off, and it never comes. And that is a problem. That is a problem. So I think the starting point, which is what I'm trying to do, is ask that question, what is success for me? Where do I want to get to, which is a base level, that if I never went beyond that, I would feel proud of what I've achieved. And then everything else is icing on the cake. Um, but if I'm having to relentlessly keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, then, then the, the, you know, the fear I would have is there's no end to that. And, and you go, what's the point? So yeah, people don't like talking about work-life balance because the reality is for high performance, you have to put a lot of work in. You have to work smart, but you can't just turn up. You have to make it happen. You have to make it happen, whether you're trying to win Olympic medals, break world records or build businesses. But it's whether you spend your whole life trying to make it happen and ultimately it, it never really, you know, it, it, you, do, you, do you know what I'm trying to say? And I'm very conscious of that. I know I'm in a phase that I want to embrace and I accept, but I don't want to be feeling like this in a year, a year or two's time. No, absolutely. And, um, you know, you, you sort of alluded to, um, that, you know, there's this journey in business, isn't there, where we all start out as employed and then we become self-employed, um, you know, when it's just us, you know, we, we say we've got a business, but we haven't. It's just people who are just buying us. And then that needs to move into when it's actually a business, you know. Yes. And, and along that journey, um, the, the business needs to slowly become less dependent on you. And, sure. Um, you know, and eventually, you know, as long as we live long enough, we will all become invested, you know, whether that's just us getting the state pension from the national insurance contribution we paid in or whether it's from a big property portfolio. And, um just finding that right balance along the way. And, and, and I know that's sort of the, the biggest challenge for many of our clients is yeah. the more successful they get sometimes, the busier that, um, that they get. And um, until one day they sell the business all in a big blaze of glory, and then they're completely bored <laughs> on the day afterwards. <laughs> that's, because... that's, that's a really good point. And I, I've got friends who do this. They say, oh, I'll, I'll stop when I'm 55, stop when I'm 60, stop when I'm 65, and then I can enjoy stuff. But, it, but then you've, you, you, you know, you haven't grown friendships. You haven't maybe, I don't know, embraced a, a hobby that you, you know, have a, a, maybe a club set up around. I, you know, I'm thinking golf because that's my passion. Um, and, and, and I suppose the point is here is I think it's pretty important to smell the roses along the way. Enjoy yeah. the journey in other, in, other, mm. in other words. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for um, oh, your okay. input um, tonight. Um, hopefully that, that has resonated with quite a few of the people that will be watching this and uh, you know we can steer as many of our clients as possible towards the back to back mindset in program and um, thanks for all of your input over the last um, few months guys it's been really enlightening and have really enjoyed our conversations so, absolute pleasure and just thanks just, Malcolm. just 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 to share backyblack.com is the link there is a free trial where we offer the um, the first few videos. You can come in, get a flavor. You can look at the course companion. So, you know, if you're interested in, in just pursuing some of this stuff, backleyblack.com is, uh, is where to find it. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, I'll, I'll, appreciate I'll see you on the golf course. Look forward to it. Okay. Yes. All right. Bye.